Good afternoon uh, to this uh, interview series of Climate Connect from Durban, COP17. Today we have with us Dr. Naoki Matsuo, who is the Chair and Senior Research Fellow at Climate Experts Limited of Japan. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the interview. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks a lot for accepting our request. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so what role or what services does uh -huh. Climate Connect Experts provide to its customers? Okay, the, actually the, I personally have been involved in this field for about more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, the, the Climate Experts is a consultant and uh, it provides uh, obviously the PD development and methodology development for CDM. And also uh, we are now focusing, actually, actually not focusing, but uh, targeting some new arena that is on the new market mechanism or mm -hmm. MRB and some, several other aspects. Okay, okay, that's quite interesting. Sir, uh, there's a lot of discussion. Can you just please explain to us what are MROVs mm -hmm. and what has been your experience in dealing with uh, this new aspect of MROV? Okay. Uh, especially, of course, the CDM mm -hmm. is a very stringent, uh, it has a very stringent MRV system. But uh, actually, the, the, the MRB that is under negotiation is on, uh, under the convention. Mm -hmm. I mean, the two new market mechanism, one of them, of course, and uh, some uh, uh, in the NAMA, National Appropriate Mitigation Action, is another important aspect to deal with such kind of MRB. And in the sense of uh, NAMA, National Appropriate Mitigation Action, that is very important, especially for developing countries, mm -hmm. to move forward quantitatively. Okay. And uh, of course, the quantification mm -hmm. of the emission reduction, that is important. Okay. But actually, the National Appropriate Mitigation Action is national action. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it means that the government-initiated actions mm -hmm. are the, the national uh, NAMAs. So, in order to operationalize a better performance of that actions, governmental actions, mm -hmm. monitoring is inevitably important. So, in that sense, the mm -hmm. emission reductions, that is, of course, it is important, mm -hmm. but uh, monitoring of the performance mm -hmm. and revise it in order to be a better performance in the next year. And proceeding these kind of activities, including that is called PDCA cycle, mm -hmm. plan, do, check, and act, mm -hmm. that kind of things is very important. And we call it as a kaizen in Japanese. The kaizen is a word that is in the manufacturing sectors, and they use this kind of things. So anyway, in order to do so, MRB is essential. Mm -hmm. So if MRB is well done, then it can be upgraded to creating mechanism in a sense, possibly, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, for the better performance, MRB is essential. So, uh, not only for this uh, AUKUS NAMA, but also the new market mechanism, MRB is, um, of course, important. Yeah, thanks for that. Uh, sir, in, there, there have been a lot of feasibility studies which yes. have been commissioned by Japan uh -huh. uh, for the new market mechanism. You're right. So, uh, can you shed some light on what are the selection criteria for these feasibility uh, studies uh, which Japan is now mm, doing? A good question. Actually, I don't know because uh, I will, I'm a selector. Side, okay. so as Japan is now well very much interested in uh, transfer of technologies. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, Japanese technology, mm -hmm. if it is included, then it is much easier okay. to be selected as mm -hmm. that kind of feasibility studies. Okay. So uh, speaking on your uh, projects which have been shortlisted for the feasibility studies, mm -hmm. would you like to say something more about what sort of uh, feasibility studies you are, your company is now conducting well, and in what location are uh -huh. you doing them? Uh, the one uh, feasibility study what, what we are now involved in is that okay. the beer brewery factories okay. in the South Africa. In South Africa? Uh, yes, the improvement of the efficiencies. Okay. It is very good uh, opportunities and that we target uh, SAB Miller that okay. is one of the biggest brewery company in the mm -hmm. world. So it can be expanded to whole of the world in okay. this. So this, it has a very good, uh, uh, well, very important right. contribution, I think. And in addition to that, for example, in this mm -hmm. country, uh, for example, sugar factory, that is a very big potential to reduce CO2 and some others. And also it is very beneficial for them. Mm -hmm. So in this sense, those kind of the uh, manufacturers, that is very important. And in addition to that, uh, I personally am very much interested in the uh, rural development issues okay. and this, 
for example, the bio, domestic biogas digester penetration okay. and uh, ICS, improved cook stoves, right. and the solar home system, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's nice. Uh, so, uh, since you are doing now a feasibility study in South Africa, yes. and maybe you have experience of others as well. So, uh, what would you say? How prepared are the host countries mm -hmm. to undertake the MRV system, which mm -hmm. Japan is now suggesting? Uh -huh. So, there are two aspects. One is uh, for the public sectors. One is for the private sectors. Okay. For public sectors, the NAMA is very, very important, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so the NAMA imp implementation of the NAMAs. Mm -hmm. at, at this moment, I'm so, uh, as you may know that the uh, specific guidelines are not yet settled by the COP. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, from this COP, after this COP, mm -hmm. some guidelines will be settled. Okay. So, in that sense, uh, the it might be better for the developing countries, governments, mm -hmm. to prepare. For example, NAMA design document or description document, something like that, mm -hmm. and invite the uh, support from the industrial countries. Okay. So, in order to do that, is very important. Mm -hmm. How to design MRV in that. Uh, uh, in that uh, country, mm -hmm. for example, the food would be the auditor or something mm -hmm. like that. And that is a very important aspect. Mm -hmm. And uh, in addition to that, we've got the private sector project. That is somewhat different. Okay. And uh, so this is some limited, uh, say similar to city. I mean, the sense. Okay. Uh, but uh, well, the government may actually the government is there mm -hmm. are to be s make some contact with the, for example, Japanese government and undertake some bilateral agreement. Okay. That is a very essential starting point. Right, right, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Sir, so, uh, if I may ask you, uh, these new mechanisms mm -hmm. which now the uh, government is trying with on a bilateral mechanism uh, with yes. NAMAs or yes. with directly yes. with the industries, yes. how does the cost efficiency of these projects compare with those of CDM? Uh -huh. At uh, this moment, we do not have no figures, okay. but uh, of course, the, the reason why Japanese government proposed that kind of new market mechanism mm -hmm. is to overcome the deficit of that CDM. Okay. And we know that CDM needs a lot of expertise, mm -hmm. needs a lot of time, a lot of money. So why don't you, why don't we overcome that kind of things? Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why Japanese government propose that kind of uh, new market mechanism and we share that kind of benefit. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, how to design that new market mechanism, that is what we are now challenging. Okay? Okay. Of course, we need first to adapt that kind of new market mechanism, initiation of that kind of new market mechanism, but in the designing of it, okay. that is much dependent on the future negotiations. Right. So we will not follow the, the, the some uh, that we need to learn much about the city of the experience, but we do not need to follow them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, uh, sir, uh, then how does the MRV of mm. these new mechanisms being proposed compare uh -huh. with the MRV under the compliance of CDM uh, okay. as we are doing now? How, how different or how similar are these yes. two? Yes, okay, good question. Okay, the, for the f first of all, the CDM methodology, uh, actually it is a kind of centralized governance system it has. Of okay. course, the CDM executive board is a supervisory body, mm -hmm. and the methodology would be approved by the board as well, and something like that. Mm -hmm. So the methodology is somewhat the centralized one. So, for example, the additionality, that is a very important concept. Mm -hmm. And uh, But, uh, okay, uh, let me consider one type of the project. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, in this developing country, whether this can, it is would be implemented or not without okay. CDM. Mm -hmm. the possibly, Many people know that this would not be implemented. Mm -hmm. But if, in order to make it as a serious project, we need to demonstrate with objective evidences mm -hmm. that it is very, very difficult in many cases. Okay? So in that sense, and we need to have some bottom-up type methodological aspects okay. approach. Yeah. So, the, uh, so in that sense, methodology shall reflect the local realities. Mm -hmm. So in order to do so, so that's another question. Okay. I personally consider that the expert, third party's expert judgment, that might be important okay. in a credible way to do so. But uh, this is uh, uh, my personal opinion. Okay. So we may need something new, new mm -hmm. approach to do that. Okay. But of course, we need to consider the environment integrity, the so credibility right. of the scheme. That is very important as well. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, so, uh, what is the approximate cost uh, which 
a new project under a new mechanism would have to set aside for MRVs <laughs> uh, as compared to the CDMs. Now we know that the cost of MRV under the CDM. So how mm. different would those cost of MRVs be under the new mechanism? Uh, I think it is much smaller, I think, of course, but uh, it is dependent what kind of cost is needed for monitoring. Okay. And also re reporting is not so important, but the verification. Right. But so especially for monitoring, mm -hmm. monitoring can be somewhat simpler, okay. uh, to be simpler. Yeah. So possibly, mm, of course, the less than half yes. or mm, less than that, I think. Okay, that's a significant improvement that was. Yeah, of course, but we need to design it right. to yeah. do that. <laughs> yes. right. uh, so in your opinions, okay. now you have been doing some studies and other new mechanisms. Okay. Uh, uh, what is the... Uh, most difficult component under the MRV or the new mechanisms in your mm -hmm. opinion? Uh, well, uh, first of all, uh, the important one is the pro prompt start. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in our experience, experience of CDM, mm -hmm. we, need, we have needed, the, I don't remember, the three, four years to start okay. the project. But we need Starts, so some good couple decisions mm -hmm. which may enable us to start promptly. Okay. That is one important aspect. Right. And uh, after that, uh, we actually at this moment the policy dialogue that is ongoing on CDM, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, we need to assess how to overcome the barriers of CDM. Mm -hmm. So and design how to overcome them. So we had to invite a lot of uh, opinions from uh, uh, possibly researchers and some other academic people, okay. people and also the uh, private sector people, and make it as easy as possible. Okay. That is very important, and uh, so we need to well. Today, so, uh, yes. For example, in the sense of, mm -hmm. in the case of LDCs, right. the rural and uh, the very poor people, in the least developed uh, yes, countries. yes, least developed countries, uh, I think the NAMA is very important, and so NAMA can be a starting point. Okay. And also, in, in some, uh, in well, some numbers can be upgraded to such kind of new market mechanisms, mm -hmm. but not all. But uh, NAMA is very important channel, and that is the good channel to get finance upfront. Right. Okay, the CER or some other market mechanism will get the benefit afterwards, afterwards, after implementation. So it is somewhat easier. So NAMA can be a very good start, mm -hmm. and uh, how to upgrade that to the some market market? That is another question. And for private sectors, inviting private sectors, I think that uh, it's a bilateral agreement with the. Is that the government that is important mm -hmm. and uh, so that kind of bottom up type e exercise that is very important to facilitate that kind of activities. Okay, uh, uh, Matsuo san, if I may ask one more question, of course. Uh, what are the uh, future plans of uh, your company, uh, Climate uh -huh. Experts uh -huh. Limited, uh, in, in, in this sphere of the new markets? Uh -huh. and all, uh, well, at, at this moment, of course, the Climate Experts is a consultant. So we are happy to support the private sector companies, mm -hmm. and also we actually I personally am involved, somewhat involved in the some uh, uh, the UNFCC processes mm -hmm. like uh, in-depth review the experts or something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we I actually I'm very much interested in the, some the designing okay. of that uh, mechanisms or some other institutional framework. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to contribute in somehow. And also, uh, I'm running one more company that is called Pair Carbon Offset Initiatives. Okay. We are now implementing the so-called biogas digest, domestic biogas project uh, in Bangladesh. Okay. Yeah, with uh, Grammy Shakti, that is a very important, uh, uh, big organization right. yeah, under the Grammy Bank. Mm -hmm. So uh, that kind of the rural development related aspect, mm -hmm. that, that, that's what I personally would like to implement. <laughs> Thank you. Th Thank thanks you a much. lot. Thanks a lot, uh, Matsuo, for sparing your time for this interview. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.